Let's take a look at K2 Workspace from a high level. You can access your K2 workflow tasks, forms, and reports from the toolbox here on the left. Your inbox contains a listing of all of your assigned tasks. From here, you can click on them and open them up as needed. The My Forms section is where you can view forms that you have permissions to access. Just note that only application forms will appear in this section. In this example, we can access a purchase order form. You can also access the Process Overview Report, which will show you reporting metrics and information about all the workflows you can access. It will show information about total number of instances, total number of active instances, average duration, amongst other things. The My Overview Report shows information about active tasks and completed tasks assigned to you for workflows you are part of. Metrics here are you can review active task information, currently assigned tasks, and duration. Also note, in the lower left corner of the Workspace user interface, you have access to login information, help, and settings, including enabling out of office. Another important feature of the K2 Workspace tool is the menu that appears by clicking on the K2 logo in the upper left corner of the page. From here, you can access other workspaces that may be defined in your organization. You can also access the Favorite Apps workspace if it's enabled, where you can get to applications exposed by your administrator with the purpose of surfacing here in a central place to find them. These are typically more commonly used apps installed from K2's App Wizard and Smart Wizard application framework. When you're ready to access the K2 workspace, you will typically get a web URL from your K2 administrator that takes the form of using the name of your K2 5 or K2 Cloud environment followed by a forward slash and the word workspace as shown here on the screen.